Do you remember what I thought about Junior Eurovision? That it's kind of tearing me apart when I see kids, you know, losing and then I see when I see countries putting a lot of production value into it that some other countries are really glad that they are in and I see all those factors which maybe are not fair, maybe the system I see is not fair. Guys, I'm getting older but I'm changing my mind. Let's talk. What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors again and today I'm going to talk about Junior Eurovision so I'm really glad you're here, that you're interested because why shouldn't you open this video if you're not interested in seeing it whole and subscribing the channel and you know doing all the stuff with making me happy and I'm happy with a lot of fans, followers and everything. Yeah, it's ego. Well, yeah, well. Let's get into it. I changed my mind because of Junior Eurovision because I see it a bit differently now. First of all, I see that 19 countries applied and will take part of Junior Eurovision in Paris 2021. First of all, maybe that's the reason that it's in Paris and that's, that's the city and we see how France started to take Eurovision very, very seriously. We saw it in the big Eurovision, but we saw it as well in Junior Eurovision last year, which was taken definitely very seriously. Whatever you think of it, whatever you think of the outcome or the song or whatever around it. Definitely they took it seriously and that's what we want from Eurovision. To have countries to take it seriously, especially big countries like France. I'm glad they're doing it. I see that not just the brand, but that's the brand which is connecting not just countries together. It's connecting generations together. And if we want this to continue, and I think we want this to continue because that's our own future to stay connected, to be connected, to come together, to invest into young generation, into even kids, to love music, to love such events, to see what this event means. And you know, for me sometimes, and sometimes I, I'm talking about that, that it means for me a lot of production value, a lot of creativity, a lot of new ideas, new ways how to express technology connected with music and mm, storytelling and whatever. But as well, the layer which is maybe even more important is friendship and kindness and this kind of connection which Eurovision has not just outside with fans and you know all the communities which it generates but as well what kind of emotions and relationships it generates inside of it and then I see that more and more countries are taking part in this that means that I was wrong that I was wrong in my judgment of Junior Eurovision and I like it because I see that it's a big chance for those young kids to already have this kind of feeling towards the contest towards this connection, towards this atmosphere and they will remember it forever and I think we should build on it, we should do it and actually I'm a bit sad that we are not doing it and that maybe even more countries doesn't do it. Of course it will become contest and the contest means that somebody is winning and somebody is losing. I think in Eurovision not really everyone is losing, most of people are winning but here it was tearing my heart when I saw it of course because it's just maybe I'm infused with you know all those films like Little Miss Sunshine and you know proactive parents and you know those who pushing you know and putting money into kids and and try to try them to be something which they weren't but that's you know just my logic in general I think this logic is wrong because we have, we are competing in everything basically. Every single one of us, every day. And this is a good way of competing because it's it's a different kind of competition where where really everybody is winning, where everybody is learning, where everybody is getting experience and for kids I think what we need to show is this love of Eurovision, this connection, international connection. So one big thing, let me say like this, I'll ask you, you for this big favor. Please give all this love to all of those kids. Forget about countries, talk about songs, talk about the approach, but give them all love, all love because it just takes something to get on stage and they're kids, you know, and we were kids once, once as well and we loved all of those things as well 
We love to be in the center of attention and not every one of us get this chance, but this is inspirational for every one of us that one day we maybe can be given this chance or maybe we can work on this chance right here, right now, but keep it this way. Imagine. What I had here to tell you, I really wanted to tell you this because I was thinking about it all day and about how I didn't like the contest and now I'm really sad that we are not in and that we're not working on it. And I'm really glad for every single country which is doing it. And all those producers are great as well. They're doing with their hearts and love, putting so many energy into it. So please give this energy back to them. They deserve it. Well, and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.